What does Dr. Halsey, Captain Jacob Keyes, and his daughter, Miranda Keyes, all have in common? Well, they're all big characters in the story of Halo, and they're all known for their leadership traits as being war heroes. But did you know the relationships are much more intertwined and connected than you might expect? Miranda Keyes, hero of the war, is the love child of Dr. Halsey and Keyes. Today we're going to talk about how Halsey managed to hide this from the others in the Halo universe and countless Halo fans at that too. Alright, let's get into it. It's good to see you, Chief. Likewise, ma'am. Let's get you up to speed. Dr. Halsey and Captain Keys had a history full of adventure, danger, and love. On one of their meetings, during a conference at the University of Calibus, the two fell into each other's embrace, and Halsey soon after revealed that she was pregnant. This child would become the woman that we got to know from Halo 2 and 3. But what happened with this family during the almost three decades that Miranda was alive? Well, after Miranda's birth, she lived with Dr. Halsey for the first six years of her life. But the proud doctor, being the obsessive worker that she was, soon understood that being a mom was just something that she didn't want to be a part of. So she sent Miranda to live with her father on Luna, better known as Earth's Moon. Here, the young Miranda Halsey decided that it was best that she change her last name to Keys, that of her father, from Halsey, as some sort of internal animosity towards her mother's decision to abandon her must have been consistent on the young girl's mind. But now she was Miranda Keys. Despite everything, Dr. Halsey, however, still tried to retain some sort of control over her daughter's well-being, as she used her power within the UNSC to get Miranda stationed on a ship that was well out of the front lines. To her dismay, the horrendous defeats handed by the Covenant Force Miranda and the rest of her crew straight into the heat of battle. Now here's something that's very interesting. Dr. Halsey would mention Miranda in her personal journal, but she hardly ever chose to use her name when speaking of her. Now, whether this has to do with the doctor wanting to keep as much emotional distance with her daughter as she could, or maybe it was an attempt to hide all evidence of her love child with the esteemed UNSC Captain Keys is still up to debate. Now, whether this next part has anything to do with it, I don't know, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Dr. Halsey did want to keep emotional distance Distance by not naming the Spartans when they were first recruited as children to keep emotional distance. I just thought that was worth mentioning. Now, even when Miranda was given the high honor of being promoted Lieutenant Commander and given her very own ship to command, her mother chose to not attend. Nothing could get Dr. Halsey to ever fully contact or bond with her now adult daughter, which would soon leave Catherine to deal with something no parent should ever have to deal with. Not only did Catherine Halsey lose her daughter upon the Prophet of Truth's hands, but she also lost all chances of ever confronting Miranda about her poor actions and choices as a mother. She never really got closure here, and rumor has it the ongoers heard the doctor crying while whispering Miranda upon hearing the horrible news of the young captain's death. And of course, this would only make sense. I think Dr. Halsey loved her very much. I just think that she valued her work and her time more than, you know, taking care of her daughter. Now, why some people may look at Dr. Halsey as being a bad mother and a bad person, perhaps she had some unfavorable choices, and we learned a lot about that in Halo 4. But I think that Dr. Halsey knew what really mattered, and that was the whole galaxy, and not just her selfish personal needs, such as taking care of her daughter. She wanted to take care of the galaxy. She wanted to save many. And whether you look at Dr. Halsey as an evil scientist or a good protector of the galaxy, it's all up to you. But in my opinion, I think she bit the bullet and did what she had to do, which was continue her studies and her research and her scientist stuff uh, instead of taking care of her own needs. While the knowledge of these three famous Halo characters being connected has been around for quite some time, it seems that there hasn't been much coverage on this topic and it also seems that many people don't know about this even though it's right there in our faces so it just seemed like one of those really cool things that we needed to talk about guys big shout out to jacob for writing most of this wonderful writer here on halo follower also be sure to drop this video a like if you ended up enjoying and subscribe if you want more videos just like this if you have any ideas about any other cool things that we should talk about in the halo universe then be sure to let us know down in the comment section all right see you guys later peace